If you want to know how to hit stick Matt and how to cause fumbles in Madden 23 and instantly improve your defense, relax. I got you. Now, in order to perform a proper hit stick, you must know the controls. Now, we'll go into the control settings of the game controls, and we'll go over to the Defensive Pursuit tab. And as you see, the right stick or the right analog stick, if you want to do a hit stick up, you flick that up. If you want to do a cut stick down, you flick it down, okay? Now, this is PS5. I'm sure on Xbox it's the same way. Flick it up for a hit stick or flick it down for a cut stick. And that is what you press to do hit sticks. Now, I do like to use hit sticks on kickoffs, uh, actually uh, on small running backs, receivers. If you have bigger people lined up against a smaller person, you always want to do a hit stick. So you want to always have big versus small when you're doing hit sticks. Another option you can do if you just want your computer to perform hit sticks, in your coach's adjustments, set your tackling to aggressive. Now be very aware, if you set that up in coach's adjustments, you will miss a lot of tackles because you're not going for the conservative safe tackle, you're going for that big hit stick. You wanna smack them in their face, you wanna force fumbles. Done correctly, you will force a lot of fumbles in this. Let's go ahead and get into practice mode and let's get into the hit stick tutorial. So we're gonna show you how to do the hit stick. Two methods. We're going to do the user controlled hit stick and then we're going to do the actually click on method hit stick. We're going to show you how to do cut sticks and hit sticks up high. Okay, so we'll run it a few times, run this play a few times, and we'll show you how to do it. Right there, now I'll show you that's a regular hit stick where we're um, doing it up high hit stick. Now I'll show you, I'm flicking the right toggle up and you'll see I'm flicking it about two yards away. As you can see, I'm about two yards away from my opponent. I flick, I'm holding turbo to run up to the opponent. I let go of turbo and I flick up on the hit stick, okay? We flip up on the hit stick and you'll do a hit stick, okay? You don't have to strafe or anything. As long as you line your opponent up two yards away, start doing that hit stick and you'll run through that guy, okay? Just flick up, we'll do this a few times, and if you gotta, if you get a good one in, he'll fumble, uh, we'll do a cut stick next time, but I'll show you, this to me is the easiest method. Do a cut stick right there, really, really simple, guys. And eventually, if you get it good, you got these people out here, they'll be trying to do stiff arms, they'll be trying to do spin moves. If you do a hit stick when someone is spinning, it's like an automatic fumble. And the new thing in Madden 23 that I've seen is when your opponent is wrapped up, when he's wrapped up, you can actually still hit stick. So if he's being tackled, you can actually click on and do a hit stick. And you can force fumbles that way too. It's really, really nice this year. The hit stick is overpowered this year. You'll get a lot of fumbles. You want to do this when uh, your opponent is tired, if there are no huddling, uh, you know, especially on kickoffs. I love doing on kickoffs. Uh, if there's an interception and I have an opportunity with a decent receiver to, in, to uh, not a decent receiver, a decent receiver or offensive lineman to do a hit stick and get the ball back. You know, I will be putting a video out on how to do, how to strip the ball right there. I missed it, but I'm clicking on and that's right there, we'll, we'll break that down, but I'll show you right here. You can miss that hit stick. A key thing, do not do a hit stick unless you know you're gonna get it. If you miss it, make sure there's people around where they can clean it up. So we're in the backfield, we totally whiff on that hit stick. As you see, we had everything right. About two yards away from our opponent, start to do the hit stick a little bit too late. We start to do it like one yard away, you see, Roquan Smith is even looking at that ball carrier like, man, I don't know what I'm trying to hit. Totally missed it. But 
we click on you know click on and immediately do the hit stick with Eddie Jackson immediately do the hit stick with Eddie Jackson now we're probably not gonna get a fumble with Eddie Jackson because this opponent we're hit sticking weighs more than Eddie Jackson but sometimes it'll work out in your favor I hit stick all the time I try to hit stick every single time if I have opportunity to do a hit stick every time you know, you can set your tackling to aggressive. That's another way that your team will automatically do hit sticks. Automatically. And we haven't got this guy to do a fumble yet. But after this, I'll show you a few times where I'll just show you some repetitive uh, things of me actually doing a hit stick. But again, two yards away from your opponent, do a nice hit stick, flick that right stick up or down uh, if you have an undersized opponent the best way to do is flip it down if your user is much smaller than the ball carrier but if you have a decent sized opponent and he definitely always like a receiver or a running back smack him in his face now his sticks are hard to do against like Derrick Henry's and Nick Chubb because their carrying is so good. But if you see that an opponent has a low carry or he's running when he has a low carry, especially when he's tired, hit stick. Hit stick, you'll get that ball back. So right here, see how he was being tackled? We clicked on and we hit stick. This is the new thing I like in Madden 23. This is so nice. Did that hit stick, you see. And I'll tell you what happened here. Did we do it two yards away? We're like one yard away and we're trying to do a hit stick. As you see, go into the animation, but not a good hit stick. It has to be two yards away. We should have started doing it right about there. Actually like right here. Right about here, one yard close, didn't get a good hit stick. Tried to click on and do it with him. He missed it. We were still off. We're too close when we're trying to do this hit stick, but we were able to click on with, is it Eddie Jackson again? No, that's uh, our new safety. And we were able to get that hit stick. Oh, it was Eddie Jackson. Let's see, who did a hit stick? Someone did a hit stick on him. Oh yeah, the new safety. Got a nice hit stick in on him. So, that's the way to click on and do it. Let's do a cut stick. And it's just, just get into practice mode. Find a play where that runner or receiver is isolated and just practice flicking it. It's like muscle memory to me right now. It's so easy, I do it all the time. Just make sure you have a good, fast, speedy guy. Especially if you got a big hitter like that. Look, he actually did the hit stick and got the ball. Come on, nope, 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 nope. nope. That's the best. That is the best. Check this out. Roquan did the hit stick. We, everything is right. Two yards away. Two yards away. Popping him in his face. Ball comes out. And look who picks it up. Look at that. We got the reward. We did, we caused, and we got the reward. Let's go, come on, man. We'll run this one more time. Let's do a cut stick this time. And then I'll show you guys how to do the click on method. Now this is the click on method, okay? We're gonna be on a defensive lineman. As you see, I'm on a defensive lineman. And I'm acting like I'm using someone else. The ball gets passed, well he, he didn't pass it. We click on and we automatically try to perform a hit stick. Now, the best way I found to do this one is just click on and flick it up. You can try to do the cut stick, but it's really hard to do. I like just clicking on and flicking it up. Just click on, do that hit stick immediately. Get off me, get off me, get off me. Do that hit stick immediately and it'll be, and you'll do fine. This is a perfect example of how to do the click on method.
This is another method I like to do when passes are competed, completed. They break some tackles and they get a long run. You have opportunity. Now, I'm going to perform this hit stick. If I was the only one between him and the actual end zone, I would not do this. Okay? Because unless you are guaranteed to get this off, if you miss, this is going to be a touchdown. But I have two safeties back there. And even if he breaks this tackle, he has to beat two more people. So this is a perfect opportunity to try to do a hit stick. The worst could happen is you whiff and miss, and he picks up a first down or something, but he's not gonna get a touchdown. But we were successful because clicked on, within two yards, start performing that hit stick, was able to smack him in his face. Oh man, that's a nice hit stick. And look at that. Roquan Smith is going downfield to help block for this touchdown. And then Russell Wilson is so mad that that got fumbled that he comes over there but that's the click on method we'll do it a few more times just wait till that pass gets off right here okay right there and totally miss where he got that off but again it's a lot of people around if i miss that tackle we can still perform that hit stick right here you can try to do a cut stick see i tried to do a cut stick i like to actually try to do the the click on method i like to do the actual up hit stick flick that toggle up and right there we tried to get it in now again that tight end is much bigger like maybe 20 some pounds bigger than uh jalen johnson but this right here a running back on this guy on roquan smith big hitter no nah, no way no way but just be careful when you do this don't do it with little safeties Right there. That was a hit stick. This is like, again, in Madden 23, you can perform these hit sticks and you'll draw the ball loose and everything. You can perform these hit sticks even when they're being tackled. You couldn't do that before. You could not do this. As you see, he's being tackled right here. I can click on and still do a hit stick. Now you'll get fumbles like that. This is amazing. This is just like in football. They really do this. He was able to get the ball. He's getting tackled. Before, if he's getting tackled, they would let that animation carry out. You could not come in and perform a hit stick and change that animation. You will get fumbles like this. Learn how to perform this hit stick. I'm telling you, especially the click on method. It works great. Your defense will improve drastically, guys. Drastically. You'll get turnovers. They'll go and press that conservative. They'll start running the ball conservative. And you can't juke and you're not too elusive when you're running it conservative. They'll be doing a lot of possession catches. They won't be able to break it out and get touchdowns. I'm telling you, they, they play the game totally different once you get a few hit sticks on them. Especially if you're really good at it. They'll start catching the ball. They won't want to try to break a tackle. They'll just go down. You can do this good, they'll just go down. Right there, we missed it. But again, I, you only do that, and you can miss it because you have people around to make the tackle. That's the important thing about how to perform a good hit stick. How to perform a good one. Missed it, clicked on, able to still get that hit stick off. And you can do that on kickoff. You can perform up to three hit sticks in a row. It doesn't matter, guys. Just get into the lab, practice doing it, especially on kickoffs. You can do it on kickoffs. That's where I get most of my practice in when I'm doing it. Or just get in practice mode, call some plays where you know a thing is gonna get open, and then just practice. It's so easy, I do it all the time. I love smacking them in their face, especially on kickoffs. There's nothing better than scoring a touchdown going down and actually uh getting the ball right back it it crushes your opponent they quit they rage quit it's the best feeling in the world